This is seven-month-old Victor. He's been on the ward for malnourished children for three weeks now and is due to be discharged today. Before discharge, he's been referred to the ART clinic to be assessed for possible HIV infection. Victor's mother tested HIV positive during her last month of pregnancy and was started on ART. Victor was born at a health centre without complications and breastfed for his first four months. From birth, he immediately started nevaripin syrup and took it for six weeks. Victor had a healthy birth weight of three and a half kilos. His health passport shows that he was taken to collect cotrimoxazole when he was both three and four months old. But his height and weight were not recorded. The first recording after birth was only three weeks ago. By now seven months old, Victor weighed just four and a half kilos. His mother had just been admitted to the TB ward with pulmonary TB. The clinician on the ward found Victor there looking wasted. He referred him with his grandmother to the unit for malnourished children, where Victor was admitted. On arrival at the ward three weeks ago, Victor was given a nutritional assessment. It showed him to be severely malnourished, with edema in his feet and an upper arm measurement well into the red. He was anemic and tested positive for malaria. He also had a mild fever and cough with a noisy chest through a stethoscope. He had oral sores, diarrhoea, but no vomiting and a skin rash. A chest x-ray was done to rule out TB, which was judged to be non-suspective. Today, 19 days after admission, Victor has finished treatments for malaria, pneumonia, oral candidiasis and gastroenteritis. Now Victor's mother has recovered sufficiently to go home. The grandmother is preparing Victor to also leave. Unfortunately, the mother on admission was too sick to breastfeed, so Victor was put onto a feeding programme while on the ward and will now take home supplementary food. Also, it was not possible to give him isonazid prophylaxis to prevent TB infection as the drug was out of stock. The nutritional assessment shows that his weight is the same as on admission three weeks ago at 4.5 kilos. But his upper arm measurement has improved and he no longer has edema in his feet. Victor also no longer has oral sores. He stopped having fevers, the diarrhoea has gone and his cough has improved, although not cleared up completely. But he still has a rash around his neck. On admission, Victor was anemic. He was not given a blood transfusion as his HB result was slightly above the indicated level under local guidelines. He still has pale conjunctiva now. This was the assessment on admission three weeks ago. Compare this to how he is today. Before discharge, Victor is taken to do an HIV rapid test as a DNA PCR is not available. This will be his first HIV test and should give a good idea as to whether he's infected or not. The result, however, is unclear. On the first try, the control line was full. Then the test line started to appear as if showing positive, but stopped halfway. A confirmatory test was negative. 
so it's decided to try again. On the next test strip, the same thing happened. The control line is full, but the test line only came halfway. Once again, a confirmatory test was negative. The counsellor decided to value the test as HIV negative, so this is what was recorded in Victor's health passport. Victor will now be followed up at the health centre. The HIV status of his father is unknown as the parents are separated. Victor has an older sister, aged five, who according to the grandmother was tested HIV negative last year. Six months later, Victor has come with his grandmother for a follow-up visit. The grandmother explained that Victor's mother died shortly after she went home from hospital six months ago. Since then, the grandmother has been taking care of Victor and his sister. Victor's health appears to have improved slowly during the last six months. Throughout this time, he's been enrolled in a feeding program in the local health centre. His grandmother says he always has a good appetite. Certainly, he's gained weight. Yeah. Yeah. In six months, he's put on almost three kilos and has grown by seven centimetres. His upper arm measurement has increased to 12.4 centimetres. However, when this is plotted on a growth chart, it shows that he's still small and underweight for his age. He's now 14 months old. His development is also slightly behind. He can sit, but he's not able to stand. Most of the previous signs of illness have cleared up. He has no oral sores, cough, fever or skin rash. However, he's still showing some signs of anemia. Victor has not been given a DNA PCR as this was not available at the health centre. Because the previous rapid HIV test was inconclusive, it's repeated today. This time it comes out as non-reactive. <laughs> 